Okay, let me preface this one by saying I love lists, and I've loved lists for like my entire life. Um, so when I saw the listography journals, the official ones at like Barnes and Noble and stuff, I was super excited, but I was like, they're kind of expensive. I just want all of them and I can't afford all of them. Um, and the night, like the official ones are pretty cause they have like pictures in them and stuff. But for my list, number 65, I decided to just make my own listography notebook. So just got myself a moleskin and just put stuff in there. So, um... I have, for instance, the uh, amusement parks that I visited, which is something I want to keep track of anyway. Um, museums visited fills like three different pages. <laughs> um, play scene, musical scene, um, some things I haven't filled in yet, but I think I filled in enough. Um, temples attended, conventions attended, Shakespeare plays scene, favorite documentaries, zoos, aquariums, gardens, etc. visited. Um, what I wanted to be when I grew up, things I've been for Halloween, um, first and last. This one I thought would be interesting, but it's kind of hard to think of them in the end. But um, Pets you've had, places you've lived. Um, it's just really great. I don't know. And it's helping me because one of my other things on my list is to write my personal history, and it's just helping me like remember everything too. Um, and I just think it'll be cool to keep over the years as well. And I still have like half the book that has nothing in it. So I can add plenty more lists as I go. Um, but I'm calling this one done. I've written enough in it, I think. And I am I think that I have written enough in it to make it a habit. Um, so yeah, really excited about this one. Gonna keep doing it.